Hello everybody again. Hello. I hope you are doing well. It's been a while. I know I've been quite busy lately. Busy. Just um, I I've been quite busy working on different things. So wait. So I'm sorry in advance. I just couldn't get online here for a while. Mm. In this video today, I wanted to check the Pacific strings by performance samples. It's the first time I'm going to use them. I never even opened the library yet. I just installed it uh, a few minutes ago. So this is like the first reactions, real first reactions. <laughs> I'm not getting paid by the brand at all. I just got them for... Mm, yeah, especially because I think they are going to be useful in a couple of projects I I'm working on and of course because I really love the sound of Vista uh, how that library works Vista is especially is mostly legato um, strings yes yeah, they, they have also the the mode of sustains so they can also play that but I would say the biggest or the most important thing uh, in Vista is the legato. However, the Pacific strings, mm, it's much bigger library in that way. They they offer much more mm, different articulations, many many different articulations. Actually, I, I just mm, install it and just you you get this. If you can check here, you get ten telly. 12 violas, 16 violins, and 8 basses. While Vista, that I have it here, Vista, instead, Vista has 3 basses, 3 celli, 4 violas, and 5 violins. It's much smaller section, although it doesn't sound small at all. Okay, So we are going just to check mostly Pacific strings here, but at the same time we are going to compare some of the instruments with the Vista, okay? Why? Because Vista is, I, th I would say, right now it's quite a popular library. Many people are using them. And, and I also love the sound of Vista, I, I said before. So I just wanted to see if the legato patches, for example, in Pacific mm, are in a similar quality than Vista. So. Let's load, for example, let's start with the telly, for example, okay? So telly have all of these articulations. Of course, this is not too much if you compare it with other libraries. Mm, also, if you compare with uh, libraries made for contact, like, I don't know, Berlin strings, mm, which have like, I don't know, 30 or... <laughs> wait, I have it here. Uh, for example, in the telly, you get all of these articulations, which are much may, which are more than this, of course. Mm, but I think this library might be all about the sound. So let's load, for example, the legato sustains. Okay, it loads super quick. It doesn't get, it doesn't use lots of RAM, which is also good, especially if you are moving super big templates. Uh, so, um, okay, let's see how this sound. Let's play something, um, I don't know. Sounds beautiful, super beautiful, actually. That's beautiful. Also, I see you can tweak some things here. You can maybe 
go with sustain mode, let's see sustain mode. It sounds amazing, you know. It sounds super beautiful, come on. <laughs> I'm, I'm enjoying it actually, already. Okay, this reacts a lot to the velocity. See the pizzicato. Okay, let's see. Yeah. I like how many dynamic layers it looks it has. If you play super soft. It sounds actually super piano, pianissimo. Look. But if you play mm, stronger. It, it has lots of them. That's good. Let's go with the Sordino sustains and see how this sounds. Mm -hmm. I really like the sound of the library. Let's So I think the sound is amazing, you know, it's super beautiful. Mm. Let's see the spiccato. Mm, I, just, yeah, yeah. I just didn't still uh, do the battery save here. This is the first time I'm opening the library. It has super. Mm, I mean, it, it, it's really good that they 
mm, put so many dynamic layers in the short Unless in the telly, you, you can find super mm, pianissimo dynamics. And if you play fortissimo in the keyboard, you get a fortissimo. I'm not sure. Maybe let, let me record something just to tweak the velocity and not. I, you know, I, I just don't care about what I played. I, I just want to tweak here the velocity, for example, this, bring it. Yeah, but you know, I, I will probably never play this in real time because I, I don't want to kill my keyboard, so... But it's it's nice just to get this, because you can always program these velocities, and the way you play these notes... I have a bit of latency, but that's because I think the buffer I'm using it's quite quite big. So that shouldn't be a problem. In any case, let's try to just um, use the um, negative pre-delay um, from the Vista. because yeah it sounds really good really good I like it let's play the tremolo I, I really like this, you know, it's beautiful. Let's go with... Okay. Okay, so you have whole tone tremolos. I, I mean trills, sorry. You need to play if you want uh, a whole tone or if you want half tone, half tone. And it sounds really good. It sounds really good. Whisper sustains, let's see. What's this? Sorry. Sorry. Hola, Joris. Nice to see you here, man. You know, I'm sorry. I was, <laughs> I was out for a couple of weeks. Mm, actually, I was, I, I was not not out, but busy. You know, I was working on different things and just couldn't get online here. But hopefully, I'm back now. This sounds really be beautiful. Let's compare this with the Sordino. Okay. Yeah. So we are just trying the 
Pacific strings here for the first time. I just installed it a, f a few minutes ago, so. I think they sound amazing so far. Let's go with the violas. Usually, string libraries mm, take much attention with the violins and cello, <laughs> but not with the violas and basses. So let's see how this works. Uh, the 12 violas legato patch. Beautiful. Actually, let's compare this with the Vista because probably the Legato. Mm, okay, I have Vista here. Okay, so the violas, for example, and Vista is just about the um, the uh, Legato. So let's compare. These are wait. These are. Vista. Okay, I'm going just to use this patch here for Vista. Mm, depending on the instrument we are going to use, we're going to use, but always there, Vista. And this is going to be Pacific, okay? So this way we, you, you can just see what's sounding depending on what patch is selected. So Vista, the violas. They sound different. I don't know which one is better. Okay, I'm going to record this. And I'm going to record exactly the same thing but in the other library, so we can compare directly. Okay, let me just in one moment tweak this because I think some people were complaining. Uh, okay, so I think we can just go. This is going to be Pacific, okay? Vista. It's pretty different, I don't know. It's like Vista sound bigger, I would say. Which is weird because, you know, you are comparing 12 violas with 4 violas. Um, I don't know, maybe this sounds less processes, process it. Mm, so that's not bad at all. Let's listen to the sustain mode in the violas, okay? What do you think, Jordi, is of this library <laughs> of the sound? Let's go with the Marcato.
It's beautiful, yeah, I agree. And you know, uh, for the way I work, I work. Uh, I mean, the workflow I usually follow. Um, I usually go with um, different patches for each articulation. As you can see in my template, I have violins one tremolo, uh, violins one long. Okay, this is just a crossfade uh, with between long articulation and tremolo etc but i really like that this kind of mm, i i mean that the library dif directly offers you different articulations it's really good for me just to put it in my template and go with it directly so um, yeah exactly i i think it's perfect for the kind of workflow i follow and yeah i guess you heard some demos because uh, they released the library on the 23rd probably of this month so just four days ago or five days ago and I think it sounds really good let's go with the Sardino sustains Sounds really beautiful, come on. I, I still didn't do a battery shave, so it might take a bit in some patches. Okay, spiccato. Yeah, I, I guess if we do the same as we did, we can just program super high, super strong dynamics. Okay, so if we go here, for example, let me... Let, I, I'm just going to see uh, how many dynamic layers we get here, okay? so. Basically, if we program this this way, we can maybe see what we get depending on the different dynamic layers. That's beautiful. So if we get, for example, like this. How big is the library? Mm, honestly, I don't know. Wait, let me check. It's going to take just one minute. Okay, I think we can go here. Thunderblade, Pacific Strings. Uh, where is this? I don't see it. Okay, 31 and 60, this. Almost 32 gigabytes, no? not really that big. Unless that's that's the space I get, mm, uh, it, it's getting it, it's using in the in the SSD. So not really not really big, I guess. Let's see. Okay, I like that. You know, tremolos. Let's try it with the tremolos. And trills. Okay, that's interesting. I just didn't notice that before. You can start with whole tone or half tone. It looks like you can do for example this, half-tone trill, 
you can go with the um, whole tone trill. But if you start with, for example, a third minor, so C, E, B would be the notes, it doesn't sound. But if you go, for example, from a whole tone trill from C to D, and you move, you, you just play the E, B, it goes with that third minor, same with the third major. No, actually it's not doing that, it's just moving the trill one tone higher. It's doing something weird. <laughs> I just don't know what's doing, but I like it. It's like interesting, you know. Like joining two different trills. I don't know exactly what's doing, but that's interesting. Especially if you want to create kind of cluster or things like that. Also, you have here that we didn't try yet. Let's go with the whisper sustains this is beautiful I like it quite a lot. Let's go with the cluster risers. Okay, so this is interesting for some kind of music effects, but not something I'm going to use often, definitely. I find this more interesting than the other ones. Yeah, I think the library is really inspiring exactly and i think that's a great thing in libraries i mean it's a it's a big part of the of the value in a library for me how it helps me to feel inspired because often you just don't have lots of motivation or you just don't know what to do and you need some kind of inspiration source so if the sound directly helps you with that that's amazing because okay this sounds really good really really good so I think we can just try the library composing something uh, short I don't want to to do anything really long here because also um, I just don't have as much time as other days but um, let's try to compose something with this so let's um, okay I'm going just to be adding I, I just don't have it in the template so I'm going to be adding the um, strings as I need them okay sorry I, I had the wrong screen. So I'm going just to be adding mm, the strings. I'm going to, to to compose something super fast and short for the Pacific strings, okay? With Pacific strings, I mean, uh, and probably the next video they will be in the template because I'm really enjoying them. So yeah, let's compose something mm, for Pacific strings, okay? 
I'm going to be adding the patch as I need. Um, so probably we can just... Okay, I think the Pacific strings have... I, I think I saw something like um, full strings patch. Okay, we have some noise floor wa waves. Let me see what's that. Okay, these are just... Mm, okay, let's go with the... Okay, so that's great. That's, this is great. We get the full strings ensemble, which is great also for just getting ideas, right? So, um, and we get different articulations too here, so this is great. Let's go with the sustain, just for the sketch, you know, I'm not going to use this patch later, probably. Okay, I think I have an idea. Let's go with the violas. Whisper sustains. I think I like this sound before. Okay, so mm, let's compose something like... I like that. So Okay, so basically I'm just playing something super uh, easy, three voices in the viola, so the VC uh, three, I, I, I just don't know how to say that in English, but you know, the VC between three voices. Mm, okay, so this would be the violas, violas. Sultasto, let's call that way. It's not Sultasto, maybe, but I, I think it's going to be uh, enough. I, I want to use the mm, basis doing legato here. So, yeah. And I want the basis just to start when the violas change here. Uh, not, not there. Where is this? When we go with a, B, major chord. Okay, let's go. And we can see. Uh, uh, this is the violas. Okay, I'm going to record now the basses playing legato. I made a mistake. This should be here, and this should be there. Okay, so.
Okay, so this should be this. Oh, let me. Mm, hola, Nacologic. Ya eh, tenía pensado hacer alguno en español, pero pero bueno, ya sabes, como en todo este negocio se habla sobre todo inglés, pues dije, bueno, yo pienso que puedo llegar a más gente y que le sea más útil a, a más gente si, si lo hago en inglés, pero igualmente sí que tengo pensado hacer algo en español. Así que, de todas formas, lo pondré en el título, ¿sabes? Puedo poner Spanish, and, y de esa forma pues todo el mundo sabe eh, en qué idioma está el directo. Puedo empezar a hacerlo así, hacer algunos en español, otros en inglés... Hello, Zahari. Yeah, I think Pacific strings sound beautiful. And I'm trying them for the first time, you know, this is the first time I'm using them, so just wanted to compose something with them, something super quick, nothing really complicated or long. Just to try them, so jelly, legato, maybe, basis. Yeah, I think they came on the 23rd, maybe. I'm going to load here the telly. Uh, and let's play actually the Sordino sustains instead of the legato, just to try different articulations here. So this should be Sordino sustains. Okay, I'm going to play the Probably the telly can start around here, maybe. Let's go. Telly now, okay? Actually, Zahari, the violas are playing the whisper sustains, but I will show again the, the telly ones. This is beautiful. The, I really love how soft they can be. Yeah, let me, let me, yeah, I think, I, I just call them sultasto in the violas here, but yeah, they, they, they are whispered sustains, I think. But in the telly, for example, it's like the sordino, patch but not like the sortino patch <laughs> it's it's different different timbre this is the the telly Sounds really beautiful. They, they sound they, they, they play really softly, but you can also get super aggressive sound like Of course this is not like Metropolis Arc libraries or something like that. But I think the library is also not thought in that way. But something probably more mm, Classical, cinematic, orchestral. I, I, I think so far, you know, I, I just didn't use it yet. This is the first time I'm, I'm opening most of the patches. <laughs> uh, so, uh, but I think this library is probably going to work absolutely amazing with something emotional, melodic, super, something more soft than probably 
uh, trailer or stuff or things like that. Yes, Nacologic. Yes, the the telly. I love the basses, the, the bass frequencies in this library. They sound really, really deep, as you said. Mm, for example, if we go with the sustained mode in the telly and you play the lower register. I, I really like it, you know, it's it's beautiful, it's really beautiful. Okay, so let's go now and load the, viola the violins and maybe we can start with the violas, just playing like if these were the second violins, so we can just tweak them a bit to the left. Oh, violins, two whispered sustains, okay, and sorry, no, I, I would just but mm, that's something I need to check yet. I just didn't pay attention to that, but probably, probably. Let's see the violas. Maybe a bit panned. Yeah. Okay, let's go. I'm going to move everything here, just a few bars, and start with the violins, you know, typical. That, that kind of. Yeah, probably they are in the middle. Eh? I think I can maybe just pan them a bit so the bases can go there, for example, Teddy, first, second violins. I don't know, let's try this. You know, I, I, I just would mm, test, do a few tests, compare with real references to see where the instruments should be placed. But I think for this demo, this could be enough. So this should be, for example, I don't know, around nine, maybe. These are going to be the first violins. And I want them just to start with the basses. So here, let's see what I play, I don't know. I don't know, this is super simple thing, so, but I think it sounds amazing, you know, maybe, Probably the telly. Yeah, 
You know, I think there is just one thing I prefer from Vista, and it's probably the violin's legato. I don't know, maybe... Okay, I'm... I'm listening to some kind of clipping. I don't know if you listen to it too. Anyway, I'm going to load here the Vista violins and we can compare the sound directly. Because this is the same company, different... You're listening to the, to the clipping, I don't know where it's coming from. Because CPU looks like not suffering at all. It's from the microphone. Anyway, sorry. I hope yeah everything sounds good, but it's the microphone. Okay. Anyway, this is the violins from the Vista, five violins, and it's curious these they sound kind of bigger, I think. So this is the Pacific ones, okay? I'm going just to put both together here so you can maybe check them okay so this is the performance samples pacific one and this is the vista violins uh, so mm, okay i'm going just to copy okay and paste so we can just compare okay How can I do this? <laughs> okay, let's just try to do this. Okay, no. Let's mute this all and just compare the violins, okay? So this is the performance sample ones, the Pacific ones. And this is the Vista. No, not bigger. They just sound different. I don't know which one is better. What do you think? Speedfire? Closer distance? Maybe. Also, the section is smaller. As you see, it's five violins versus 16 violins. So that should definitely affect the sound too. Also, you know, when you have more than three players, it sounds like mm, different than it's harder just to define how many players you have. You can just say probably that you have lots of them or just a few, but not exactly the number. Unless you see them, of course. Speedfire Audio has incredible strings tension. It would be perfect for the harmonic progression. Mm, strings tension, I just don't... Is that the library? I just don't know that. Uh, String extension. Es una librería en Ecologic. Eh, porque esa no la conozco de Spitfire. Zahari. Yes, because it's a smaller section. You get closer with the mics. Yes, yes. Also, they have. Uh, both libraries have close. And the Catri here, I guess. And this is like more ambient and close. String extension, so I, I just don't know that one. I will check it out because I, uh, I you know, a Spitfire audio, I have, um, I don't know, Spitfire. I don't usually, I, I don't use lots of their libraries actually, but this one is beautiful. Chamber strings. And this one is, is great for the timpani, especially, I would say. Epic strings. Ah, okay, you know, the, uh, this is the originals one, right? No, I, I just don't have that one. I I don't have many of their libraries. I have also the Abbey Road. Mm. Anyway, let's let's try how they both sound together. And mute.
I like how they blend, how they layer each other. I don't know. What do you think? Let's go. So let, let's try to listen to this again. Maybe, maybe we can actually double here. Okay. I'm going to double the first violins with the to use the I'm going to write the violins one octave higher because these are out of range do they have tremolo yes you can try that on the violas you mean maybe when the basses start mm, I like actually the whisper sustains in the first part at least Mm, but yes, we can try. Of course, we can try. Let me just double this and play tremolo here. Tremolo. So we can maybe just go with the violas. Tremolo. Okay, we have tremolos here. Let's copy this here. Let's mute this one. So the violas are doing this. Let's let's listen to this. I love this kind of harmonics in the violin. Okay, I should probably need to tweak the dynamics here. Too aggressive to my... I feel I need more bass. You know, the library sounds really, really beautiful. And for these kind of passages, or just, uh, I just don't know, I, I like it. Especially, you know, this kind of passages, I think this library is going to work pretty well. Because, I don't know, maybe for the legato I keep using the three libraries I've been using so far. Uh, where, where are you? This one, the Vista, plus Appassionata strings, plus the Cinematic Studio strings. Mm. You can just, I, 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 I don't know, this sounds really, really great. If you record something, or if you just check any video I made in the past. We can actually try to compare only legato 
Okay, let's let's just try to do something here with that melody. I don't know. Whatever. Let's try. I don't know. I just change it the basis. Let me show you what I'm doing here. So this is the second violins. This is the basis. I'm going to record something for the cherry, for example. Just trying to do super quick test. Oh. No, I'm not comfortable with that. You know, I don't usually compose this way. Anyway. The legato and overall sound, you know. Actually, this, this test, this quick test about legato thing, I'm going, to, I'm doing, I'm going just to compare different legato sounds, and one of them is going to be the appassionato strings, uh, that I think is interesting to compare with Vista, Pacific, etc. You know. You you will listen to it in a moment. <laughs> Okay, that last mm, chord is weird here. I don't like it. But it, it, that's not the matter, you know. I just don't really care about this. I'm just going to... Okay, I'm going just to copy the second violins with the first ones, but one octave higher. So this is what we have. This is the super quick piece we got in a moment for testing legato, okay? This is Vista. Okay, so now I'm going to copy this and put it on Appassionata. Okay. Let it load the library because it's quite big. And I'm going also just to copy this in the Cinematic Studio strings, okay, here, mm, yes, mm, actually, I would say I, I usually double them because I like, of course it sounds much bigger when I join them with when I layer them with Appassionata and Cinematic Studio Strings, but also Appassionata, I think they they have more detailed sound, probably closer. They don't have so much ambient, but mm, the detail here is amazing, you know. Uh, the, the only problem with Appassionata is that they are quite heavy in terms of RAM use. For example, just the violin first, the first violin is legato, is using two gigabytes of RAM. And that's just one instrument, one articulation. So it's like, okay, same with the second violins, 
it's it looks like let's see the violas same and you know i'm just using this combination the, the mix two microphones i'm not using anything else so it, it's quite heavy you know you could program mm, I, I don't know how to use that here actually i never tweak that in in this maybe here i don't know Mm, you know, as long as I just didn't have problems with that. Okay, you, you can choose here, collapsed, expanded. Upper right mm, corner. Uh, upper right. Yeah, where, where I was, right? Preload side. This is about plugin. Mm, okay, this is this, the default pre preset. I, I just don't know. I I guess you can just use this maybe. So okay. oh, you have more options here. Okay. Anyway, yeah, they they just use a lot and probably I, I just didn't get any project without. That, that needed more RAM that I'm using. I, I was closer, close to the um, 64 gigabytes, but preload, where, where is the preload? Yeah, maybe, you mean this, the full size, maybe, right? Anyway, they, they use quite a lot, but it's okay, you know, they, they sound pretty beautiful. And, under audio this is here plugin default preset audio interface okay preload size here you mean down yeah Apple default. okay I you know I just didn't take I didn't check this enable memory mapping anyway you know mm, I think this is uh, it's good just to know it. this is here, just in case I need to use the library and I don't have enough RAM for it, but I still didn't see myself in that problem yet so far, so I hope I just don't, don't see that situation. So I'm going just to um, just go with the legatos here. I want to see, so this would be violin's first legato. I'm going just to copy, to double this, and call this violin's two legato. This is going to be, for example, nine. This is going to be six or five, it's okay. I'm going to load now the violas. Basically, I'm going just to compare all these libraries, okay? So we can just see how the legato sound also in the Pacific, uh, how they compete with um, three of the most popular libraries for legato strings, which are the Vista by the same brand, um, the um, I will say it. Appassionata strings by Spitfire Audio. So these are the Celli Legato. And also the um, Cinematic Studio strings that I think is in every composer computer in the world. 
that's probably the most popular string library so far, I guess. Everybody seems to have it. Basis legato. Okay, so um, I'm going just to put this there. Uh, violas, no. Yeah, violas around there and basis there. Okay. And I'm going just to um, copy this and move this down to the Pacific strings. Okay, come on. This is the problem with kind of big libraries, kind of big templates that you don't get. Okay, and I think it was here in the 45. Okay. The reason why I just put it in the same place is because I'm going just to mute everything else. Okay. Maybe we can just, mm, I don't know how it's going to react because often this library, yeah. When I put the solo mode, it, 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 it the, the computer becomes super slow. So I try to avoid it and just try to use the mute one, okay? So let's listen again just to the Vista example we made, okay? So let's listen to the Vista. It was something weird, like some instrument violas, maybe. There is something not nice there. Okay, so anyway, these are the Vista. Let's go with the Appassionata, they are going to play the same thing. The violins, the first violins also seem to be out of range here in this library, not in Vista, but here they are like that. Yeah, not, not a big problem, I, I would say. Let's see now the Cinematic Studio strings. Let's mute them and let's go with the Pacific strings here. Let's go. one you know this is the new update I could tweak this so yes we can try also with the expressive one let's see the expressive one CC
Mm, actually, I think as a standalone library, my favorite one might be Appassionata. Although we have some problems here in this first violins, in this note, this is not in the register. And probably this one either. No, that one. Yeah, these two notes are not in the register. Okay, wait. I, I, I was wrong. Yeah, this is not in the register. This is the last one. So when we get to this point, this first violins just don't play so this sounds a bit weird like you are getting used to specific sound and then some part of it is missing so yeah I think Appassionata sound amazing for legato super detailed But you know, the, the thing I like most of all is just joining these three libraries for Legato. This sounds amazing, look. Listen. <laughs> I think this is the best sound I've listened to um, so far in terms of legato strings, Pacific strings standalone. I don't know, what do you think? They add all kind of harmonics between each other. Yeah, but... Mm, but you know, it's like... Uh, not all the libraries sound that way when you layer, even when they add, of course, more harmonics and... Okay, let's mute this. Yeah, that's also, also something I wanted to do. So let's mute the pista and let's try the Appassionata Cinematic Studio Strings and Pacific strings. So let's go. Yes, Appassionata probably is the one working best in most cases. Vista also is really beautiful, I, I think. I don't know how will the four sound together. <laughs> Let's listen just to this last test. Okay, it's quite subtle if we add this, but I think it's not doing anything wrong. I mean, it's not mm, destroying anything, so probably I will just include it in the <laughs> legato thing. So let's listen to the first idea that we did only using Pacific strings with different articulations. I, I think I'm going to go... Probably the tremolo is in the violas sounds nice, but at some point, probably when the telly start playing, I would like to go probably with this other articulation. So, okay, okay, yeah. 
So I'm going to unmute that and I'm going just to mute this. Let's go. Too, too drastic change, but okay. Okay, this is the violas and I'm tweaking the dynamics so it looks like the first phrase just died and we are starting again we are born again let's listen again probably the this part is also the violins harmonics is a bit too long I don't know Violas. Yeah, you have th I think you are right. Yeah, I think I think the tremolo are also a bit too loud. What about also increasing just a bit the tempo? That's beautiful. I, I was thinking also in the part of the of the tremolo in the violas, just adding maybe something in the pizzicato lower strings like basses and celli. So let, let's try. No, not there. Sorry. You know, it was just mm, super little test. Let's remove this and let's quantize a bit. Uh, let's just do the same with the telly, but one octave higher probably. Telly, cello, pizzicato. Okay, I was playing the pizzicato in octaves. Okay, I guess when I do the 
but resave. It will load. Okay, no. it, it will load Higer. This is Telly, Pizzicato. And I'm going just to use the upper part of it. So when so we have this so far. So, what do you think of the library in general? I just found it really beautiful, you know, I, I really love the sound, especially of the mm, low strings. The telly are amazing, the violas, okay, violas I wouldn't consider them low strings, but the, the telly, especially these whisper sustains or the sordino, sound All the dynamic layers they they recorded is it, it just makes the library so strong I would say <laughs> uh, like you, you can just get absolutely amazing results with it it looks like especially in this kind of passages as, as we were talking about like soft emotional ones And also it's great they included these patches here, cluster shorts, mm. because uh, usually when you listen to these things, no, sorry, come on, it's usually in violins, like in horror films, like ring, 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 but you know, when you want just, for example, a hit or something, and you want just to do this with the full strings section plus brass plus woodwinds plus it sounds super big you know it needs to sound super aggressive super big so the bonus content they also included a solo harp normal plug 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 i don't know and harmonic let's listen to the harmonic ones to increase here. Sounds beautiful. Interesting. Let's see the normal harp. Mm -hmm. 
Mm, I have a couple of them, but in the template, and the one I use most is this one. And this is by Orchestral Tools, and the library is uh, Symphonic Sphere. They have an ARP um, and many glissandi, pre recorded glissandi, which are quite interesting. For example, I have them also in the template. So if you want um, harp glissandi minor and just one. So if I'm not having lots of time and I need just to. To, to use a glissandi, I usually go with these things. If I can do it uh, custom for the piece I'm working on, I, I just go with this one. And I think I'm going to keep using this one. The other one I have that I used a lot in the past is this one. But mm, for some reason, I just... It's much closer, closer. I just don't know. I I prefer the sound of the orchestral tools. Symphonic sphere of the orchestral tool one. This one. I just found this one works better in my opinion in my template. The other one is super detailed and it's a great library actually, but I don't know why I finally ended up enjoying more of this. Also because of the glissandi in the Elysium one mm, were quite complex, so I just never found useful for me. So to me, that it didn't have a lot of sense if I was using Lisandi recorded from one specific harp and then I was using another sound for the normal harp. So for the normal things. So I don't have the harps from Vienna Symphonic Library, but yeah, I heard lots of beautiful things about them. They even use their own player, right? They don't use the synchron the synchron player like these things. Like, for example, I don't know, the Vienna Symphonic Library Elite Strings I have here. Wait. It needs to load it. First time I used the Synchron Player. Actually, I also updated recently. So this is the first violins legato from this library. Let's go with the violins. Yes, man, you don't you you never have enough strings libraries. <laughs> no, I there are a few I still don't have and I think I'm not going to buy any with it doesn't make sense to me, but you know, I love, uh, I absolutely loved the Vista strings library when I got the when I got it in the past, and I just thought this one was going to be pretty interesting. So, also Berlin strings, modern uh, scoring strings that I got recently too. This one is beautiful, especially for the, for the long notes in my opinion it sounds really really beautiful like the violin sultasto for example mm. 
This is also because of the auto divisive thing they use. This stuff directly selects. In a way that mm, it, it directly separates the section in different voices so they could play uh, what you are playing in a realistic way. So, yes, exactly. I, I, actually, you knew them, and I was having problems, and I uh, had some problems with it, but finally I got to solve it um, with Contact 7 also. Just some articulations just go with um, contact six, but and actually I still have contact six. I, I finally got the contact seven update because it was pretty good offer. Um, I still didn't try this choir thing or just included this. Lores thing and sequis, sequis or sequis, and piano colors. I don't really like this library. Action strings two is quite good. Yeah, finally I I got to solve it, <laughs> or at least that's how it looks like so far. Anyway, let's listen finally to the Pacific strings thing we did, and I hope you enjoyed it. And next time. I will use them in a composition for sure, in a real composition. <laughs> Yeah, super little little theme, but it's it's nice. I think it, it, it works for the test. It shows different articulations, how the library blends together when you use different things. I think it's it, it might be useful for someone who just wants to check how the library could work. So that's the idea at least of this video because you know I I just didn't get the library from performance samples like they gave it to me at all or anything like that. I just bought it myself a few minutes ago. This was the first time I was checking it. So it was kind of first impressions for me too, not just for people watching, but also for me. So it's a nice surprise that the library works so beautiful and it works so well together when you use different articulations. So. Mm, I'm really pleased with the purchase and I'm sure it's going to help me achieve some things that yeah I was doing already with other libraries but I think this one can improve it uh, quite a lot so I recommend it Joris I recommend it, especially if, if you just um, if you use, for example, Pista, you bought Pista or another libraries from then, like Komoto, I think. I, I just don't have those ones, so not really sure about how they go, but they offer you a loyalty price in the intro. And also, if you buy it in the intro period, you just uh, get for free the solo strings when they release it, which is another library. Mm, they want to release and I think I read the intro price for that one is like 179 USD. So it's not cheap at all and it's great that if you get this library now in the intro in the introduction period, they will give it for free. And at least when I bought the the library, I just got the a, a discount 
uh, not, not a discount code, a discount code, but a, a code that I will need to use for future loyalty things for having bought the library. So mm, I don't know. I, I think it's it, it works. It works. Even the I think it's four hundred dollars or something like that. And also that's true. The enterprise last until March from next next year so there is plenty time to save if you need to save before you get it so i, I think it's it, it it's a library that definitely worth it so i totally recommend it yeah exactly i i would buy it i i would buy it for 400 too so i just bought it for 250 or something like that in total because that was the final price I got. So it's it's definitely worth it, I think. I recommend it. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys, and I hope to see you soon in another live session. Mm. And I, I think the next time I, I'm going to use this library. I, I'm going just to work on putting it in the template right now. And um, once I get used to it and I find the articulations I find more interesting to me, I will work on a piece and I can show it here if you want, as we did in other videos about other libraries, about other composition sessions. So I hope you enjoyed it and thanks a lot for being here with me. It's been a pleasure as always. So hope to see you in the next one. Bye, guys.